I honestly feel so lucky that Color Wow gave me that opportunity to meet Chris Appleton and him to teach me how to do my hair because ever since I had my hair done with him, I just feel like I can do my bun just so much better than I've ever done it before. Literally, it's just, even the fact that I now use, just cover the hair in hairspray and then like brush it back. I don't know why I wasn't using that before. I was always using like a, I don't know, like a, is it like a pomade that we call it? Or I don't know, like a hair mask and just sort of slicking it back. But literally spraying your hair with hairspray and then slicking it back and obviously doing the two different parts. It's just been an absolute game changer. I honestly, yeah, I've even done the little bit where I've like straightened the little, I don't even know what we're calling them. I'm just gonna do this, cause you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm feeling snatched AF. Anyway, um, so today I am, yesterday I didn't vlog. It was Monday yesterday, but I had a design meeting with my SLA team all day in the office yesterday. And we talk about things that I can't talk about yet. So there was no point in vlogging it. Um, but today I'm going to meet Becky, uh, who I haven't seen in ages. And we're gonna go to the SLA office just to shoot some content because I don't get days like this very often. I know I've spoken about this before. So we're just gonna take a few little pickies at the office. Um, and then I think we're just gonna go and grab some lunch. So that's what today looks like. And then tomorrow we've got a very exciting SLA shoot, which is, yeah, anyways, so. I'm running late as always, because it would be weird if I wasn't. So I'm gonna shut up and get in the car. So, I wasn't lying, I was actually here with Bay. <laughs> we were just saying we always forget to like, put it on like the smallest, <laughs> the smallest thing. But we're done, aren't we? We are. We've had a very successful content day. Nailed it. We've nailed it. I've done, my, I've done my job for once. <laughs> I know, you've been on it today. I have, I've been, I'm also wearing the new SLA white sweat set. Getting it on and off is fun. Yeah, no, we it's covered in foundation, isn't it? Didn't work. I've also got obviously trying to not get your snatched bun and yeah. foundation. But like this. It's just not. I need my little headscarf thing. Um so now we're gonna go for a coffee. Yeah. And actually the sun's come out, so little catch up, little coffee. So I know in last week's vlog, I spoke about my skin and how it broken out when I was moving because I just hadn't stuck to my normal skincare routine. And I wanted to share with you all the products that I have been using at the moment, which I feel like have been really sort of helping me manage my breakouts and like just keep them at bay and also keep my skin looking glowy and just products that I'm really impressed with and I think are worth spending money on. So these are from a brand called I, oh my god, I've never had to say it out loud before. Steri Vetchin. Really? St oh my god, I'm gonna write it here. This is what it's called. I probably just butchered the name. <laughs> I sometimes find when I do things like this, when I've never said a name out loud, I can get like so stumped on how to pronounce it. So these are the Advanced Resurfacing Daily Reveal Exfoliating Pads. And these are amazing. So they've got a multi-acid blend. I know I've spoken about like acid in skincare so many times, but I just love anything that's like gives my skin a tingle. You can feel it working. Love, love, love acids. If you haven't got an acid in your skincare routine, I cannot recommend them enough, but I would say make sure you read like the instructions on how to use the product because sometimes if you've not used an acid before, you, can't, you might want to use it daily, you might need to introduce it into your routine, so you use it once or twice a week and then build it up as your skin kind of gets used to it. But these are amazing. Honestly, your skin will start to glow after like three days. They're just, as I said, I know I spoke about the fact that the reason why I get breakouts is because the excess oil gets trapped under the dead skin. So removing like a surface layer of buildup and dead skin and stuff is really important for me. So I love anything that kind of exfoliates and gives me that glow. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend them enough. And even if you're not suffering from breakouts or you just want something that's gonna give your skin a glow, these are amazing. So the next thing that I absolutely love is a vitamin C anything vitamin C basically. There's two that I'm just absolutely loving at the moment. So the first one is the Sunday Riley. This, so this is the CEO 15% vitamin C brightening serum. So this says to, it's targeted to quickly fight the look of dark spots, um, discoloration, and then also diminishing the signs of aging. So the reason why I love vitamin C is because it really helps to reduce the marks that are kind of left from breakouts. Because I mean, I'm a picker. I'm not gonna stand here and say I don't squeeze my spots because oh my God, I do. I can't just leave them. It's, if you can leave a spot, that is a skill. Like teach me your ways because I just have to get in there. <laughs> but 
the vitamin C is so great at sort of helping to remove the like leftover scarring and stuff. I've actually got, I mean, I've put a bit of concealer over them today, but um, and where those spots were really bad last week, they've left me with just like the dark patches, so like the scars from them. Um, but that will hopefully go over like the next week or so, but that's why I'm like really hammering that moment. I also just recently started using, this is um, the Ren Glow and Protect serum and it, again i just basically like just give me all of the stuff that gives my skin a glow so one thing i absolutely just love um while sort of i use it most of the time but especially when i do feel like my skin is breaking out this is like a lifesaver so this again is the sunday riley i love sunday riley skincare by the way like i've honestly bought so much of it um i'm actually there's three products in here that i just i rave about so this one is the ultra clarifying so this is the acne treatment face oil um and it's green it's really cool it's literally like i think that's why it's called ufo because it's green so this is amazing because it's got um, salicylic acid in it, which is just so good. So this one says, for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads, this 1.5% salicylic acid medicated dry oil clears congested pores. So, I mean, that is what I do suffer from at the moment is congested pores. And this is just so great because I think a lot of people are quite scared of using oils when you break out because you think, well, my skin's oily already. I don't want to add oil to it, but it's actually, I think just finding the right ones. This one is amazing because I think it's because it's got the salicylic acid. So it's like an oil, but it doesn't feel oily. And when you do feel like you're breaking out, honestly, this just it works overnight. So this is, I mean, I think you just put it on a night. I do anyway. I think it is just a night thing. Um, but basically you just wake up in the morning and the appearance of the spot has just massively like gone down. They're less irritated. They, your skin just looks clearer, honestly, almost after one use. So it's a great sort of thing to bring out when you are breaking out. But also I do try and actually use it like quite regularly in my skincare routine just to keep my spots at bay. If you've forgotten any of the names, I'll link all of these below um, in case you missed any of them. The other thing that is insane as an exfoliator that I use um, once, maybe twice a week is the Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate. It is just my favorite face exfoliator for when I really feel like that my skin just needs a proper clean. Like when you put this on and then you leave it. So you, I rub it in for 30 seconds, leave it on for two minutes and your skin goes like quite tingly um, and your skin can look quite red afterwards, but that's normal. And it's so soft. Like when you touch your skin afterwards, it is literally a dream. So again, really great at getting rid of any of that sort of like dry skin and just build up of crap that you just get from day to day life. Oh, this is actually really good. I've got, it's got a shelf of um, skincare in front of me here because I still haven't got all my skincare storage out. So it's just, it's just in front of me. This is incre like incredible. I actually got a sample of this a couple of months ago. I used the hell out of it. So I've got the, like a bigger size one. So this is the Murad Invisi Scar Resurfacing Treatment. So again, this is for when you are left with those marks from spots. It is wild. It's like having a it's like having a chemical peel in a jar. It makes your skin like the surface of where you put it like quite dry, but then it will like flake off and it literally just as it says, it like helps with the scarring. So if you do feel like you are left with quite like bad scarring from spots and things like that, this is amazing. I feel like on the website, you know when they describe products, they probably can give you a better description than I'm giving you. I'm just like, but these products are, they're the sort of ones that I use when I'm just like in massive spot fighting mode, I swear by them. So I really hope that that's useful um, and some products that you guys can try. But while we are on the subject of skincare, I will just talk about, I bought the other day um, the Summer Fridays Light Aura Vitamin C Peptide Eye Cream and it is amazing. I mean, it's literally insane. I've got it on, but I don't know if you'll be able to see if I put it, I might put a bit extra on and see if it shows up, but it's kind of got like a, it's like a bit light reflecting. Um, and it, it just brightens your under eye area in such an amazing way. Like I can't even begin to tell you. I think I can see it actually, even though I've already, look, can you, I just feel like that eye just looks like healthier than the other eye. So it's so great for no makeup days when you just want to, like instantly, I just look like I've had a really, really good night's sleep. I honestly think I might just carry this around with me and just add it on throughout the, have the, throughout the day because I've already put it on this morning, but an extra coat just looks 
Oh, honestly, amazing. So yeah, that was my recent skin purchase and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so good because I just feel like I've been so stressed out recently that I've just been waking up with really bad dark circles um, and that has just changed the game for me. So anyway, that's my skincare update. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Do you know what is annoying me though? That I, I've got such dry lips. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Please, 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 can someone recommend me a good lip balm that actually works? I go through, I've tried them all, I feel. Nothing helps my lips. And Joe's convinced that it's because if you put too much lip balm on, it makes your lips drier. But I just, I feel like it's so annoying because I, I don't want them to be dry, obviously, so I want to put lip balm on. But then, like, even when you put lipstick on, then it looks shit. So anyway, um... I'd appreciate some lip balm recommendations. So today is SLA's shoot day, which is very exciting. With Nelly shaking because she doesn't think she's coming with me, but you are. Honestly, she loves a shoot day. You get all of the attention, don't you? I've got my SLA socks. This is so exciting. This is the first sweat shoot that we're doing, that we have socks. I can't even begin to tell you guys how long we have tried <laughs> to get socks for SLA. Trying to find like, I just wanted them to be amazing and like the quality of these is just insane. They're like cushioned at the bottom of them, like sort of. They're not like a slipper sock. They're not thick like that, but they feel like a slipper sock because the, oh, honestly, just trust me, the quality is insane. So I'm so excited for them to launch. So they'll launch alongside of the sweat stuff that we're shooting today, which I'm so excited for you guys to see it all. Um, this is what I'm wearing today, nothing that exciting. I've just literally got leggings. This is a typical, like, I need to look like I've made an effort, but I'm late outfit. Um, I've got on a little off-white long sleeve top. The SLA Kendall blazer in a size large, just super oversized. But this is why black blazers are just, a game changer because you just put them on and I feel like it makes you look like you've made more of an effort. I've also put in some hoops and slicked my hair back as well because I feel like that instantly makes you look like you're put together even if I've got like three minutes before I need to, literally three minutes before I need to leave the house. Right, Nelly, are you ready? Have you got your stuff together? No, you haven't got any of your stuff together. <laughs> Guys, you're saying a lot of brands to me today that I just do not know. <laughs> just assuming, I'm not. I'm not cool enough to know about these brands. Um, anyways, so as always, I'm really shit at vlogging on SA shoots, but I have taken footage, which I will put in over the top here, so you can see what we've been up to, because Zoe and Rhi have looked absolutely fantastic. Um, it's also because we always have music playing, and I cannot be dealing with copyright in my vlogs. New set colours are amazing, and I'm hoping you guys will agree. And I cannot wait for them to launch. And also the socks are coming, of course, which is equally as exciting, because I feel like I've been waiting for them for so long. Um, but yeah, maybe if we don't have music on for the rest of the shoot, I mean, I will turn around so you guys can see the vibes. Rhi's currently having a bun put in over there in the pink. Um, Annie is putting lip oil on. No, she's not. She's done. <laughs> of course, we shot loads of Polaroids today, as always, and they look like an absolute vibe. I'm so excited. We haven't done a shoot in so long that I haven't been able to put any extras on the Polaroid wall. And so now I've got some. But we were actually saying that this wall over here, because we've got this new film camera, which is this one here, um, I actually want to get the, when we get the films developed from the shoots, I'm going to get them developed as the prints as well. And then we're going to put all of the film camera images all like around the mirror over there, which I think is going to look so cool. So today has been slightly crazy. I feel like I'm a bit all over the place this week. Um, I just, it's been one of those weeks, I must say. This is the only trouble with, as I said, I think I mentioned this in my life update video. Sometimes I have such good intention of vlogging everything and things just get a bit thrown up all over the place. So this morning, I was just sort of dealing with some SLA stuff and just all that sort of stuff. I won't bore you. Anyway, um, but I'm ready because, well, I'm half ready, I should say. I've got an event tonight with Mac. Um, they've got a launch of something. Uh, I don't know what, it's very exciting. But I just wanted to do something slightly different with my hair. I feel like anyone who is either growing out their hair or their hair is the length that mine is currently, you kind of, I mean, I feel like I personally don't, just don't love the length of my hair currently. So I never really wear it down because I want it to just be a little bit longer before I do that. Nelly, please. Okay, fine, 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 fine. You can go out, you can go out, you can go out. God, I've got mini hair as well. Lord, bloody hell. Um, yeah, I just don't love the length of it, like down. And because I'm growing out my fringe, I don't like to sort of wear it down. So I always just put it up in like a slick pony or a slick bun. 
But um, I wanted to just do something slightly different. So, so I'm currently um, going to head off to go and see Hadley, who's the guy who does my extensions. He's not going to put extensions in, but he said, I asked him if he could just like braid some extensions into a, like a braided pony so I can have like a longer pony for tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's why I've kind of got like half ready. Just haven't put like major lashes on or anything yet. Because I thought it's the middle of the day. I don't think I want to be walking around Oxford Circus with like full, full glam. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go over there and see if he can just work his magic and do something to and just do something to my hair. Um, just to make it look a little bit different, you know. You know, anyways, oh God, I'm hot. I feel like I'm just hot all the time. However, this morning we have had the handyman in the house who's been doing little bits. So I'll show you what has happened in this room. So we have two sausages who are enjoying the sun, don't we? Okay, hello, hello, yes. And an Ellie. yeah, I came in, it's okay. So we've taken down the lampshades, which are over here, um, which just looks so much better. Um, I just, honestly, it's a game changer. Also taking down the curtains that were on here. So obviously we'll put up um, the new sort of like sheer ones when I get them made, but it just looks like, oh, honestly, it's made the room seem so much bigger, especially getting rid of those. So I'm just waiting for the lampshades to come for that and then we'll pop them on. I've just bought a mirror from upstairs down here while I wait for the other one to arrive. Plus I just thought this is gonna be such a great spot for a mirror when it does actually arrive. I'm really excited. Oh, sorry Nelly. God, don't stand behind me. Don't stand behind me. Oh, hello, hello. Um, and then what else is happening? Oh yeah, uh, lights in the lampshade now, which is very exciting. I know some of you have asked me where this lamp is from and I would love to tell you, but I absolutely cannot remember. Um, I just have no idea, like literally no idea. <laughs> I can try and find out because my interior designer at the other place got me that lamp and so I don't even know the brand that's come from. But um, yeah, I'll have a thing. And then I've also hung up the pond mirror, which looks fab. <coughs> oh my God, Nelly, stop. <coughs> Nelly, no, no. Um, but yeah, she looks really cute here. I'm just really excited to have them all up. It looks great, I love it. So I'm here with Hadley. One and only. So we're um, we're just going to braid some like clippy things in, aren't we? What are we using today? We're using sway, sway seamless clipping extensions. So you're going to clip them, like clip them, clip them in, and then. No, I'm going to do something a bit funky actually. Wait, well, have you got your interbow pick of that thing? Yeah. I want to I want to show the vibe because I came in with the idea of going for a braid, like a braid braid, but then Hadley showed me this, like a twisty pony. Yeah. It's yeah, cute. I like that. Let's do this. Yeah, no, it sounds good. I'm gonna perch my camera up on um, a tray so we can sort of film what we're doing. Obviously, we might not be able to fully speak at the same time, but you guys will be able to watch and see how Hadley does this because even if you've got short hair, you can do it easily. I'm assuming because they can add their clippings and do it. So you don't even need long hair for this, guys. You can join my, like, clipping vibe. Do you know what, maybe I just should buy some clippings. So I can, like, I can have long hair, but I just don't think I can deal with clippings. What are you talking about, Nick? I'm like, I'm not having a conversation with you, but then also, like, <laughs> changing my mind as I'm discussing it. Because I feel like if I have clippings, then, like, my hair's not thick enough at the back for a clipping, is it? No, so it's really. quite open. Yeah. I've got a real, like, open bit anyway. <laughs> So slight change plans. My <laughs> my little bits are just not playing ball because obviously my hair is shorter than the extension. So we've come up with an idea that we're going to braid each section and then twist the two sections together with the braid. So it's going to be like some like ropey flat thing. Braid. I reckon, I reckon it's going to look cool. I think we'll nail this. So anyway, take two. <laughs> Do you remember the Scooby Doo? Yes. Have a that was what I was thinking. It's like some sort of. It's like we've gone like taking a really long time to do a braid or something, but actually. Coachella. Yeah. I think this would be a vibe. 
I'm wearing like a my the SLA leather suit tonight. And I've never so seen anyone else with this. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've got a problem like showing it off. We've nailed it! Yay! And I've got Yay. sticky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we, I think we've ended up with something even cooler than what I thought I was coming in for. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got the Zara sparkly top on. I've also got these really cute sparkly um, ASOS hoops in tonight. Got the SLA leather trousers, which are just a vibe. And then I've got these pink zara heels on which are really cute they're like little platform heels um and then obviously my braid it's so nice to have like just longer hair again even if it's just just for the night um so i'm just waiting for my taxi i'm actually very impressed with the fact that i managed to do this all with enough time to even vlog before i leave um just waiting for my taxi and then i'm gonna head i don't even know where i'm going i'm actually not sure where it's being held but so all i know is that apparently it's matt's biggest launch yet um, but apart from that, I have no idea what I'm going to, but I'm excited to find out what it is. Um, I feel like you can see the hoops better in this light. I'm still suffering with like, trying to cover up where my breakouts were. Honestly, like, I've, I, they've kind of left like a bit of a scar and the skin's gone quite dry there. And there's nothing worse is it than putting foundation over like a dry patch. So it's looking a bit patchy, which is <laughs> sad, but I can deal. It's all good, it's all, it's all okay. Um, but I'm loving my braid. It looks so cute. It's, it's like some really hectic plait, but, um, yeah, as I said, it's just nice to have a little bit more hair for the evening. So we're back. We're back. Oh, tell us all what it is. <laughs> so we're super, super excited that we are here with Max's biggest ever, ever launch. Oh, I'm throwing it out. I'm excited up. Max Stack Mascara. I'm at the setting of this restaurant. I'm obsessed with this chandelier. I feel like I want one in my house. So I swear they're not going to want me to vlog this because it's like a secret room and I'm just, well, I'm, I'm actually out that. here exposing them. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, it's quite mysterious, isn't it? Oh my God, stop. There is actually a bathroom here. This is wild. Thank you. <laughs> So the event was so good last night. I had such a fun time and I was just about to try out the mascara and I thought, what am I doing? I should film it because it's basically going to be a first impression. Um, so it's obviously called the Max Stack Mascara. I haven't actually looked back at any of the footage from last night and I know it was super loud in there, so I'm not sure what you could actually hear. But it's called the Max Stack Mascara and it says, I'm just going to read read all about it. So it says, never before seen, continuously buildable, clump resistant mascara that gives you customizable, gravity defying volume for natural to next level, along with instant lash lift and length, which sounds amazing. Plus the thing I love about it is the fact that it, ca it comes in a, like a micro and like a macro wand. Um, and the micro one is for basically your bottom lashes or like shorter lashes, which I have, I've got quite short lashes. I'm not blessed with the longest of ones. So I'm actually gonna try the micro, I think. Um, and basically apparently you can just keep building and it doesn't get clumpy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a go and see if it lives up to the hype. So this is what, I'm gonna like this. This is what the bristle of this looks like. So it's got like cone shaped bristles on it. And that apparently is what makes it like coat the lashes really easily. Um, so I'm going to do it in my mirror here, but also try and get it on the camera at the same time. I mean, if this makes my lashes look long, then it's an absolute winner because I have such baby lashes. And that's the other thing. If you've got short lashes like me, you'll also, know that like if you keep coating lashes that's when they do when you've got short lashes and you keep trying to coat them that is actually when they do get clumpy um and so i just feel like i can never 
ever do more than like one coat. I'm like really particular about when what mascara I actually use. Well, it's definitely given like some length to it. That is for sure. I've always got one eye that goes better than the other. Like this is the one where my lashes just sit up nicer. I mean, I'm pretty impressed, especially on this eye. I love this. I should have started with this eye really. I've just this eye just always looks better mascara wise. I'm gonna. So they're a little bit drier now. I'm just gonna keep coating. I mean, I would say that I am pretty impressed with that. That has given me some pretty good lashes. And actually, it didn't go clumpy, really. I mean, I've used mascaras before. Where, I mean, I just literally did so many coats of that mascara that was actually wild. And it's not, like, I don't think that looks that clumpy at all. And it's given it such good length as well. I feel like they look, I look, oh, I mean, for someone who lives, who loves a, like an outer corner little false lash to make my lashes look longer, I think I could get on board with this mascara because it actually has worked so well. I'm impressed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit down on this chair in the corner next to my mirror now that it's hung up very exciting um so i just basically wanted to just have a chat and just say i'm really sorry i feel like i feel like the vlog was just all over the place this week it was a very sla heavy week and i know i mentioned that like when these weeks are the way they are i don't really have time for anything other than just to be like focused 100 percent on sla um and so that is i feel like when my vlogs do just kind of end up being super sporadic and like random but um i hope you enjoyed nonetheless um and obviously it was so nice to be able to show you guys the new sweat collection which will be launching on the 13th of march um which i'm so excited about but honestly this this sweat collection was actually supposed to launch i think like this weekend but um it was delayed by two weeks because the um shipment was delayed so that's a bit of a shame because obviously we haven't launched anything new in so long but we have so much coming um, and I cannot wait to share it all with you because it's just, I'm so, honestly, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, and I love, I mean, I love the blue. I'm obsessed and the white with the sweatshorts and just everything. So the sweatshorts will actually launch a little bit later, but only like a week or so, um, just in case you're wondering, but the joggers and the sweatshirts and the socks will be online on the 13th. Yeah, hopefully I'll have a little bit more sort of like home stuff in the next next vlog this room is still looking pretty bare currently like literally just i mean it's obviously got that that great chair but obviously the giant um lights that still need to go into storage or something this is all just empty beanbag's still going strong um but we'll get there also I had some of you ask about why we didn't put the tv up on the wall like above the fireplace in last week's vlog but it's not because we can't, it's just because I'm obviously, I mean, it's me. There's a mirror. I'm going to put a mirror up there. I mean, all, just basically get all the mirrors I can possibly up in this house. Um, so I've got this beautiful like over fireplace mirror thing, which I'm very excited to arrive. So on that note, um, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog anyway. And um, I will see you in my next video. I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me because I'm going for a brunch tomorrow. And I just figured that I'll just do a get ready with me while I do it. So that'll be my next video. Um, which I'm probably just trying to, um, this will upload on a Sunday. I might even just upload it on Monday. I might go wild and do like a once a day upload. No, my God, imagine if I could do that. I'd be like superwoman. Anyways, I'm just waffling now. Um, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.